now. You're a businessman. Yeah. Small businessman. Yeah, kind of. I sell. I sell guns. Okay. So you're you're in a at a crossroads right now, huh? Because <laughs> people want. Well, I don't know. Will Will smart hunters save the gun industry? Well, we don't. I don't sell those kind of guns. Okay. I sell the big guns. For the military. Yeah. Well, and others. Oh, okay. Well, that well, they'll always be armies. So they'll always be a need for that. Militias pay more than the military. What's that? Militias pay more than the military. Oh, okay. So you're supplying militias. <laughs> and I'm sure you met with some casting characters. Oh yeah. fell into it. A friend. A friend of mine was doing it and had me go along one time and showed me how much money you can make. And uh, okay. next thing you know. Okay. Right. This friend had been doing similar business. Yes. Still does. But you're, you're independent. You don't have, you don't... Nope. I work for myself. Okay. But your colleagues still and friends? Yep. Would you say you're competitors too? No. Well, that's nice. Do you have time to do? Well, you're a family man. You have your business. Do you have time for anything else? <laughs> <laughs> not really. Oh, not yet. Okay, the answer is not yet. No, not yet. Not yet. Okay, well, in the future, when you do have time. Potential avenues of interest for you. Where will you go with your future? Uh, Potentially. Uh, Potentially. You're not going to be. I've always wanted to get into bullfighting. Bullfighting? Always liked it since I read that. Uh, you want to be in the ring? I would love to be in the ring. Tight. Wow, oh, brother. <laughs> I know, I've read those Hemingway books. Yep. They are mesmerized. Yeah. Especially by him. And then, uh, I don't know, my wife and I get into the tantric sex stuff. Okay, and how does one convince one wife, one's wife to get into it? To well, start reading it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's... So I have to educate my wife on how to do that. Well, you think she'd be amenable, but... Uh, any, uh, any just any, any beginner suggestions? Um, <laughs> just... Show a video. Yeah, <laughs> or leave a book around. Okay, leave the book around it. And then eventually you get into the swinger stuff. Okay, now, so, um, <laughs> yeah. my dad was doing that out in, in uh, somewhere out in, in Topanga Mountain area. I never found out the place he was. It was way up. Might have been my house. What's the name of this one? <laughs> <laughs> it's a secret. You can't tell me. All right, don't tell me. Swingers party? Yeah. Uh, not exactly. We, we met in a threesome, though. Okay. <laughs> All right. And what happened to that third person? Are they a friend now? Well, the third person got pregnant. Okay. So uh, that became a nightmare. And okay. where did that third person go? Um, Is it off to have her kid? Yeah, okay. she she had the child. Okay. Okay. And. Uh, she then went off, so we raised the child now. Our, uh, yeah. Okay. Wow, that is a thank you for sharing that. Wow. Okay. And a child was born? Wow. Uh, now, after that early experience, did you, so have your wife and you revisited the speaker's experience? Oh, yeah, all the time. All Yep. So that's kind of how it's, that's the platform. And not everybody 
waves, I'm sure, you know, you know they're there painting. You just want to sunbathe and they split. Or, yeah. And then there's some that are going to they make eye contact. Yeah, it's good to sunbathe naked because it gives you energy. You know, your your, your testicles need to get uh, sun, and they don't ever. And uh, that's one of the reasons so people... So your virility goes up if you're out in the sun naked. Sure. So there it is. There, there's a science fact that you don't always hear. But that's why I feel so good when I'm out naked running around. Yep. <laughs> that's why you feel good. You've been denying your natural sun. Thank yep. You. Thank yeah. You. Do you ever sun your butthole? Uh, so that's gonna mean laying on your stomach and getting a pillow? Nope, other way. Legs over the head. <laughs> oh, so it's a yoga position. Sort of. Wow. Happy baby. Now, okay, so uh, how long can you keep that position up for? Not position? long. You don't want to sunburn yeah, that. Yeah, because you're gonna sunburn your butthole and then take it a shit. <laughs> <laughs> then my shit was burning. No pun intended. All right. Well, what little, what kind of health benefits will I get from from uh, sunning my 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 rectum? Uh, looks just like two minutes will give you all the vitamin D you need for a day. <laughs> nice, Doctor EO, brother. Uh, Doctor EO, can and, I call you EO? And you'll blow loads like you never have in your life. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. <laughs> <laughs> Please try this at home. <laughs> oh. So I'm sunning. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. <laughs> now your your wife and you had how many of your own? own kids yeah we we just fathered the child that we had just in the threesome the from the other girl just the one okay, yeah there it is. Wow. It's a natural child. yeah but it's a, it's here, a, here's where it's crazy go ahead. both women got pregnant oh okay so both yeah. women got pregnant in the threesome in the threesome okay, yes so and then the other uh, your wife yeah did bring that child to no uh, wife well did but put it up for adoption then I ran back into my wife we got together and then the other woman didn't want the child we took the child my wife felt bad about putting the one child up for adoption so we took the other child what do you know of the adopted child do you know anything about nothing it? nothing but the child was in fact adopted yeah But I'm telling you, you'll be that virile if you uh, sun your butthole. <laughs> Two kids, one one shot. You had enough. Yeah. You had enough. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. We're going up Chicago again. Is that what it says? Yeah. Now, who uh, who schooled you on the uh, the butthole sunning technique? Um, I found it somewhere. I forget. A long time ago, I read it in a book. Long time ago. That. I think it was I'm not kidding you I think it was the Bible <laughs> I'm not kidding I think there was something in the Bible about it <laughs> that I was like and then I no but then I researched it and found out all about it it's like you'll read about it Indians do it everyone does it No, no, no. I'm uh, I'm on a probably the strangest diet oh, you've you ever. Are. What, what's your thing? It's uh, all legumes. I only eat legumes because you can get all your protein, carbohydrates, all your nutrients. Which, so this means garbanzos and lentils. Beans. And beans. Kind of bean. the all bean beans. Is your all best beans. Okay. But you can eat it in any form. You can eat soybeans. You can eat yeah. like bean burgers, bean this, bean that. 
but so um, no, nothing of any animal. No. No fish, animal. Chicken. No. Okay. And uh, how's your gas level at farts? Pretty hellacious. I could probably blow up a small country. I have farts that literally are on a decimal. You don't take B, no, right? Because that, that probably is bad. No, shit. no, you don't want that because you want, you want the gas. Yeah, so I have farts that are on the decibel level of a, <laughs> of a sonic boom. <laughs> and your wife is on the same exact diet? No, my wife thinks it's disgusting. Okay. She hates it. I've only been doing it for about three years. Previous, though, you were an omnivore. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so for in all truth, this is a three-year experiment, but you're you feel good. I Generally look. Feel good? You do like I know health-wise, I'm in good shape, but the farts are just they're out of this world. Well, is your wife threatening to divorce you from the farts? Uh, probably soon, because uh, there's one thing that you do in this that's pretty disgusting. Yeah. Um, so you have this thing called strateria which is like uh, sticky shit. Okay. Like you get, you, you know when you yeah. see a toilet bowl and the yeah. bowl's just covered, it looks covered. like, that's it looks like a hate crime. Yeah, that's, it's, that could happen to you sometimes. So that, that is the only thing that happens that like. How often? Every time. Oh. So if I don't clean the bowl. Oh, dig it. If you oh. don't clean up after yourself, it's a, it could be a game changer. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's, She'll go in the bathroom, I'll hear her scream, and she'll be like, you didn't flush. I'm like, oh, I did. And she's like, well, you need to clean the bowl. All right. Yeah. So if you have all your ducks lined up in a row. But it's good. like I've had all my, my blood work done, and my my health is through the roof. It's the best it's ever been. Good for you. And uh, they, uh, you know, like the doctors that prescribe this kind of diet, uh, they will... They'll test everything. They'll test your methane, like you know, the the gas that's coming out, and uh, you know you can you can capture that. <laughs> so you could work for Southern California Edison. Pretty much so. Um, I think I'm one of the causes of global warming. Now, you made this radical lifestyle change because I had health you, problems. You had health problems, and here you are. The doctors are telling you you're doing great. Do you feel good? Oh yeah, except for the farting. And you would hate to lose your wife over having a senior moment and forgetting one time and it was unconscionable. She, it's like you've gone too far. That I've warned you and I want. You I'm not going to lie to you. I have given her Dutch ovens uh -huh. that are. It's just funny sometimes how loud these farts are. And so I'll pull the covers over her head and just let go. And. Uh, I've almost killed her. <laughs> yeah, you may have to start running out of the room. I don't know. But it's I, pretty. I feel you. I, it's I, funny, but I it's, love you. it's it's great. It's worth. It's worth. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I'm gonna tuck it. Hold on. I'm gonna back up. Just gonna All right. Come up fast. And I'm gonna back up. Well, it was really nice meeting you. This is a great and chat. an interesting talk. It's really, it's really good. And I, and I, um, I so appreciate don't, you listening. Don't 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 try the bean diet. Yeah, it's only for those.